Hey guys, this is Nessie. In this video, I'm going to cover how to cheaply pen to meld your gatherers. At the end of this guide, I will go over collectible routes for script farming, so stick around. The cheapest way to get gathering materia is from script farming. The only cost you should have while using this method is teleport fees. Like my crafting materia guide, I will be covering exactly what you need to be able to do this efficiently to get the most out of your time and to save you a ton of gill on the market board. To unlock collectibles, you must first have completed the level 50 main story quest, The Better Half, during the post or Realm Reborn story arc. Then you need to complete the side quest, Inscrutable Tastes, from Morgane in Foundation. Once that's done, you need to talk to the collectible appraiser in whichever expansion main city you're wanting to farm collectibles for in order to unlock the script exchange for that expansion. These can be found in Mordona for Realm Reborn, Idleshire for Heavensward, Ralgar's Reach in Stormblood, Yulmore in Shadowbringers, and Razet Han for Endwalker. Once collectibles have been unlocked, the only thing we really need to get started is cordials. Cordials increase your GP by 300 or 350 if they are high quality. There are also high cordials, which can increase your GP by 400. High cordials can be purchased with white scripts and can also be obtained from gathering quests. Cordials can be purchased from your grand company for 500 grand company seals each. This sounds like a lot, but one expert delivery of level 90 gear will give you 1800 seals, which is three cordials. If you are short on seals, you can farm expert dungeons for gear and turn those into your grand company. Once you have a good supply of cordials, we can start farming collectibles. The collectible UI has changed significantly over the years, so let's break that down first. At the top of the UI, it tells you what items you're gathering. To the left of the item name, it tells you the gathering percent. If this is less than 100%, there's a chance you will fail an attempt and lose out on a collectible from that node. Below that is your collectability ring. As you start to use abilities, this ring will fill depending on collectability. The more collectability you get, the more the ring will fill. In the center of the ring, it will tell you exactly how much collectability you have obtained after every ability. Below that is the maximum collectability. This will never change. You will always have a maximum of 1000. To the left of the ring, you have the legend. The green bar on the ring tells you what your current collectability value is. The yellow shows you the estimated collectability gain on the next ability, and the orange shows you the maximum you can hope to get after buffs and procs. This will make more sense as we start to use abilities. To the right of the ring is your current and maximum GP. Below this, we have the primary action section. These are the abilities that will increase your collectability for that node. At the top of this section, we have the integrity. Integrity is how many gathering attempts we have left. If you use an ability, the integrity will go down by one. The idea is to get the maximum collectability as quickly as possible so that we can gather as many of the item as we can. Below integrity, we have the actions. The first action on the left is Scour. Scour increases your collectability based on your gathering rating. Scour has a cap of 200 collectability before buffs. The next ability is Brazen Prospector. This will give you a random rating between 50 and 150% of your Scour. So if your Scour is capped at 200, Brazen Prospector has a chance to give you an increase anywhere between 100 and 350. The next ability on this tier is Meticulous Prospector. Meticulous Prospector will raise your collectability by 75% of your Scour, but has a chance to not reduce your integrity based on your gathering rating. This chance to not reduce your integrity caps at 25%. The last ability under primary actions is Collect. This will gather the item at the current collectability rating, so we do not want to hit this until we have either reached max collectability or run out of GP and cannot increase the collectability any further without reducing the integrity to zero. The next section on the UI is secondary actions and bonuses. This is where you can find your buffs to use along with your actions. On the far left, we have Scrutiny. Scrutiny buffs your actions based on your perception, providing up to plus 250 of your collectability rating for a cost of 200 GP. Next is Collector's Focus, which buffs your intuition rate by 75% of your current rating. This is multiplicative, not additive. So the max collector's focus can give you is 70% additional intuition rate. Most in-game rotations do not use collector's focus at all, opting for scrutiny as a better use of GP. To the right of these buffs are your bonuses. The first bonus is your intuition rate. This shows you the percentage chance you have to gain an extra 100 collectability when using one of the core abilities. This has a cap of 40% unbuffed and 70% buffed with collector's focus. 
The second bonus is Collector's Standard. This has a random chance to proc after using one of your core abilities. When procced, Collector's Standard buffs both Brazen and Meticulous Prospector to 100%, making them equal to Scour while still providing each buff's respective bonuses. At the bottom of the UI are the Estimate Calculations toggle buttons. Clicking on these will show the estimated increase for both Scrutiny and Collector's Intuition on the buffering. Now that we understand the UI, let's talk about the collectible nodes. The collectible nodes we will be using to farm scripts are time nodes. These nodes are only open for two in-game hours at a time. Some nodes only spawn once per game day, some spawn twice. Once you click on these nodes, you're locked in, so make sure you have enough GP before clicking on them. Backing out in the middle of the node will cause it to despawn. If you are following a route, this route should afford you enough time to get enough GP back for the next node. You will need to use cordials to keep up with the route if you do not regenerate fast enough. Also make sure you have enough room in your inventory. The collectibles do not stack. There are a few standard rotations we can use to collect these items at max collectability. The first rotation I want to cover is the 700 GP standard rotation. This rotation works best if you have capped the base collectability gain on Scour at 200. If you have not, you can still use this rotation, but the low stat rotation will serve you better until you can cap your Scour. The 700 GP rotation begins with Scrutiny, followed by Meticulous Prospector. You will then use Scrutiny and Meticulous Prospector again. This is where the rotation will fork, depending on your result and buffs. If you have reached 800 collectability and received the collector standard proc, or reached a collectability of 850 to 999, you will use Meticulous Prospector. If you reached 800 collectability but did not get the collector standard proc, you will use Scour. If you already reached 1000 collectability, you'll just hit Collect. After this branch, regardless of the outcome, you will start to collect. Collect once, then hit Solid Reason or Aegis Words, depending on your class, on your action bar. This will give you one additional integrity while also giving you a chance to proc Eureka Moment. If Eureka Moment procs, then hit Wise of the World to give you an additional integrity. Then finish off the note collecting. The low stat collectible rotation can be used with 400 or 600 GP. This rotation starts off with Scrutiny, then Scour, then Scrutiny again. This is where things branch off. If you get a Collector's Standard proc, use Meticulous Prospector. If you do not get the Collector's Standard proc, use Scour again. If you still need more collectability, hit Scrutiny again. After this, the rotation branches again, same as the previous branch. If you get a Collector's Standard proc, you'll hit Meticulous Prospector, and if you don't, use Scour, then collect your items. Now that we've gone over both rotations, let's talk routing. This will take you all over Endwalker. Each node will be active for two in-game hours, giving you plenty of time to regenerate your GP. The routes for both white and purple scripts will be on your screen and in the description below. There are alternate routes that have you pick up both mining nodes and botany nodes during the same two-hour window, but these routes will have you chugging cordials like you bought stock in them and can be very tight on timing windows. This route gives you some downtime to use the bathroom, eat some food, a two-hour in-game window for turn-ins, and a lot more breathing room. If you're finding this information useful, please hit that like button so YouTube will share it with more people. To turn in the collectibles, you're going to talk to the collectible appraiser in Razad Han. Don't forget to change the tabs from Miner to Botanist, as we gathered collectibles for both. Make sure you pay attention and don't overcap your scripts, as this is just throwing scripts away. If you get the warning that you'd be capped with that turn in, hit cancel, go buy some materia and come back. To exchange the scripts for materia, you're going to go to the script exchange vendor in Razad Han one stall over from the collectible appraiser. Click the drop down under category and go to gather script materia. Then in subcategory, select whichever scripts you are farming. For materia 10, you will farm purple scripts. For nine and below, you will gather white scripts. I will not be giving a complete guide on what you need to meld your gear as I'm not a theory crafter and I generally just follow the guides on TeamCraft. I will, however, provide a link to the TeamCraft website in the description below for their BIS gathering melds so you can make an informed decision based on your play style. If you made it this far into this much longer than expected video, I salute you. My channel has grown so much in the last few weeks and I appreciate all the support I've been given. If you have a better route, better rotations, or if I simply miss something, please let me know in the comments below. This is Nessie, and as always, take care of yourself.